Hey y'all, it's Crystal, a vlogger with Newsflash, and today I'm going to be discussing double standards. This topic came about from a series of things I witnessed this weekend and a conversation I had of a similar nature. And I, it's just so crazy to me, the standard. It's just crazy to me, the standard that women are held to and how it differs from that of men. Um, and the pressure on us to constantly be like on, to be 100%. And how we're constantly indoctrinated with the messages of how our existence is here to please men. Um, so let me get to some examples that really just kind of triggered, triggered me. Um, one is like just taking a look on social media you constantly 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 are seeing all these memes and different quotations about how a woman needs if she you know cooks a whole spread and she, that's how she's gonna keep a man and then if she you know has the perfect butt or perfect you know nice perky breasts that don't sag or you know she has nice six-pack abs um just all these things are constantly like I mean you'll see some geared towards men but for the most part it's mostly targeting women telling us how we're not you know if we do this if we do that then you know we'll get x y and z we'll get a man um which is problematic in itself because it kind of diminishes our existence down to being here to please men you know like we're not multifaceted beings with our own dreams and aspirations nor do you know do you really see a lot of these things telling men what they need to do to keep us and to look good for us and how you know they should be contributing members to the household like with doing yard work um and contributing with some of the domestic duties and stuff like that so it, I mean, like, it's, like I said, it's constant. Like, you're always seeing it. Like, no matter where you're, you turn, you're always seeing, you know, these messages telling women how inadequate we are and what we need to do to be better. And it kind of breeds this um, atmosphere of insecurity, lack of confidence, and constantly feeling like we have to compete uh, with each other over just stupid stuff because that's how society, you know, has it set up. And as a mom to a daughter myself, you know, I just think about, you know, as she grows up, um, how the residue of like the messages that we have encountered in our time being like how it continues to just pass on from generation to generation. And, you know, I just feel like it has to stop. Um, which also, you know, segues into my next gripe with the double standard thing is like when things go wrong, we're always seen as like the first cause. Um, what prompted that is a conversation I was having with my associate, um, talking about, we got on the topic about like women, or having a bunch of kids, um, cause they joked with me about how like, they want like five kids. And I said, man, I don't, you know, no way. I'm like, nobody really has five kids in this day and age. But then I'll, I backtrack. I'm like, yeah, people, there are some people who still have like five kids. And the associate was like, yeah, he's like, I don't, you know, I don't see how women can have all these kids and they're not even with the dad. And, you know, they just have all these kids and they're not even married. And I had to check him. I had to chin check him real quick. Figur figuratively speaking, <laughs> not literally, but figuratively speaking, I had to chin check him and say, you know, these babies aren't coming from out of thin air. Like, these women are not making these babies by themselves. They're coming from somewhere. And the same way that you're getting on women for not being married mothers, what about the dads of these babies that are not married? Like, is that the, a problem too? And then once he kind of took a step back and looked, he was like, yeah, 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 you're right. You know, you're right. I didn't really think about it like that. And it's crazy because they don't have to think like that. You know, like we're constantly, like I said, we're constantly, everything's our fault, you know? <laughs> um, 
you do you know all the right things and you still get cheated on um like when i was talking about the memes you know they had a this guy posted this meme about how he had like a whole spread on the table and he was talking about how um if there's a woman who's still doing this in 2016 like you know any woman who are still doing this in 2016 like kind of like giving them props or whatever and I straight up wrote under it, I was like, any man who's providing and paying the bills for the whole household and not requiring his wife to work, you know, if a guy's still doing that in 2016, then he's worthy. But it was just funny, like, the audacity and, like, the gall um, and the entitlement that he felt, you know, that women need to be doing this and that and a third, but we don't really get much reciprocation of anything in return. Um... It's just so warped, like the way our society thinks, um, the way it's set up. And I, to be truthful, like I, I mean, we've made shifts, but I just, I don't know, I still think it's something that we as a whole need to work on. Um, and to be truthful, I don't know if it's something that I'll really see turn all the way around in my lifetime. Um, because... It's been going on for centuries. Um, and it's like the more independent women have become, like, it doesn't matter. Like, more gets thrown on our plate, but we still don't get the same respect um, that we deserve as a whole. Like, of course, there's exceptions to every rule, and I hate the fact that I have to give a disclaimer. But, you know, people sometimes take things personal when I speak in generalities like that. But as a whole, society as a whole... Um, I mean, the way patriarchy is set up, like, it just has women, like, <laughs> I always say, like, it's a big mind screw for women. Like, it's just, if you don't step outside the matrix and, like, take a step back and take a look and assess things for yourself, like, it's easy to get caught up in the craziness of it all. So, yeah, that pretty much concludes my video. Um, just wanted to share, like, my thoughts because it was just something that kind of... <laughs> <laughs> that I find amusing and tragic at the same time and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts about it. I hope you guys have a great week. You enjoy the video. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.